All right, guys, if you're buying Silver Tempest already, maybe just hold on a second because... <laughs> no, 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 no! Wait, 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 wait! Wait, 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 wait! I have some insider info from my LCS that might be useful to you. Let's check it out. All right, guys, so we're going to hop right into this episode without any dilly-dallying. Dilly we're not going to diddle. We're not going to daddle. It was at this moment that he knew. That sounded totally wrong. We're not going to dilly-dally. You get what I'm saying. Let's start reading. This came from my LCS, kind of like the other info for the Charizard UPC. So I think it's valuable that we have the inside scoop uh, just between us, right? You and I. All yous, thousands, and eyes, ones. All right. Pokemon Silver Tempers first flash discounted units are now posted. Highlighted by booster boxes starting at $95.93 with free shipping. Now, I think this is to, like, the everyday consumer. When it said that, my instant knee-jerk reaction was to go and see what others were charging for. So this is where I think it's valuable for us. I'm not saying anything against whatever, you know, whatever, whatever, okay? All I'm telling you is I'm going to look out for you to not pre-order these on Best Buy for $150. There's just no need to. Right out of the gates, they're already discounting the units, and we're going to talk more on why they're doing that. But you can see different distributors. I have no idea who these are. I have no affiliation with these guys. These are the first people that came up on Google. But they are selling them for $94 to $100. Now, I think that's reasonable right out of the gate. I think you can... You're going to be able to even get a better deal maybe from your LCS if you buy a case. I think there's a chance here to buy this for even less. Uh, and it might be worth it, and we'll talk more about that in a second. So, market updates. So far, demand for Silver Tempest is running similar to the last set, which is Lost Origins. And the manufacturer has confirmed full supply availability. Therefore, we are expected Silver Tempest prices to be a bit cheaper than Lost Origin in the beginning due to the plentiful supply. Accordingly, suppliers have lowered some prices while supplies last okay so this tells us a few things from what i've seen in the sets i think the statement is relatively correct i think there's going to be a similar type of hype factor i would like to see the complete silver tempest set in english um these it's not being released until uh, early to mid november i think it's november 10th or 11th somewhere in there check my math uh sound off in the comments but i think it's something that we need to watch and i also asked my lcs is there going to be any uh the second wave do we have any info on you know future releases we don't have that info yet so i think we just need to go off of what we're looking at here and i'm happy to see in general booster box prices especially the last set in the entire collection which is sword and shield because this is our last set i'm happy to see them under a hundred dollars because that's what i'm used to that's what i started with we're obviously in that you know we're that in that ebb and flow kind of position right now especially with the economy and everything all these things that are going on when i first got back into the hobby you could go out and get an evolutions box for 90 dollars. at the time you really couldn't give them away for any more or less than that that was the going price 90 95 and then 100 bucks and obviously now they're you know they're much higher but they've come down so if you're buying in this type of wheelhouse whether it's 90 to 100 dollars. i think you're doing really well i think there's going to be an opportunity uh for you bulk buyers to be able to maybe get that price to sub 90 dollars. now is that going to be worth it on this set that's yet to be determined we have to see how hard it is to hit that those alternates how wanted those cards are going to be like for me personally lost origin has been a sob to to pull those alternate arts other people have been very very lucky like pulling you know the the tinas and the aerodactyls like no, like no big deal i've opened up now 16 boxes with one berserker alternate art and that's it i mean that is real talk that is real numbers good thing i didn't do a hit ratio literally kind of like maybe what danny phantom would do because we're talking about a lot of packs and no alternate arts so it's kind of a i'm, I'm in no man's land when it comes to that but anyway i didn't get to talk much about the new alternate art that was released i'm gonna say this just looking at it from a surface level i am like at about a seven ish to eight out of ten on this i think i don't know i have to i have to hold it in my hands and you know check it out in person to feel what we're talking about what did he say i like this card i've heard mixed a mixed bag of reviews on this i've heard people that don't like it i th people that said they could do more i am super excited myself to get my hands on this card this card gives me like 
Shining Gyarados out of Neo type of vibes, and I'll put something on the screen right here. It gives me that type of vibe. And if you're old school, like, like I am, it hits that chord, you know? It's so cool to watch this no-name type of faceless figure checking out Lugia. And it gives you a perspective on how big Lugia is compared to, like, what this boat is with this dude. I love that. I literally love that. And that's why the Gyarados smashes that button from Neo. And if we looked at it, I mean, you could easily substitute that artwork for an alternate art today, which is why I really, really like the correlation between the two. I like when they do stuff like that and they give you ma massive, massive perspective and a completely different look on a Pokemon. And how many times do you see the back end of Lugia? I mean, there, there's something to be said there. So, no, nah, but I, I like what they're doing with Lugia here. Now, I don't know if anything has been released on this. Uh, so I'm going to kind of just make a personal blind statement. I really, really, really hope that they have an alternate art Ho-Oh in here. If they don't, I really think that, uh, you know, the Pokemon company missed an opportunity to give that love to Ho-Oh also because I feel like Lugia and Ho-Oh are different sides of the same coin. They, they're, they go hand in hand, in my opinion. So if they didn't do that, I think you could have the sickest alter. I mean, imagine this scene from Ho-Oh's perspective from afar, like they could have put Ho-Oh in the, I'm pointing as if you guys can see where I'm pointing. They could have put Ho-Oh like up in here, watching Lugia watch this guy. And then you could have a perspective from Ho-Oh's, you know, like from behind Ho-Oh and looking at this scene. I think there is a huge opportunity for that, and I don't know that that's going to happen, but I think they really missed the mark if they didn't add Ho-Oh in here, especially for an alternate art. It needs, to, it needs to happen. That's my personal opinion. So yeah, guys, I hope this episode was in some way helpful and insightful. Definitely guard your money. Watch how you're spending it. Don't pre-order these for anything more than $100, in my opinion, because you can go out and just get them for $94 right now. You might even want to be a little bit patient and selective, maybe even get a better deal than $94, which I think would be a huge comeuppance, especially on a set like this, and especially from the cards that I've seen so far. You might have a future uh, type winner on this thing, and depending on how they print it also. It seems like they're going to have plenty of supply, so that might also you know, affect the, the value. But that's going to be it for me, guys. If you're feeling generous today, hit that subscribe button, man. We're going to 50,000 subs. There's nothing stopping us. Join the ride. Be a part of this journey with us. I'll appreciate you for it big time. But as for now, that's going to be it for me. I'll see you on the next live or the next episode. Peace. Yeah, I'm talking to you. It's time to hit the button already. Do it now. What do you think? I'm dancing for free here?